49ers practice today. Chase Young was out there, I think, in the 92 jersey. It's going to be his yeah. uh, new number. He had a press conference, uh, talked about being really excited to be uh, in a winning kind of culture and next to Nick Bosa. And I haven't talked with you in a while, so I thought I would ask you, do you think that Chase Young solves all the defensive issues on this team? And if that's a little bit hyperbolic, how, how do you feel just about him being on the team in general? I mean, I don't think it's it's any one guy that's going to fix the issues of the defense, right? Otherwise, we'd be like, you know, Nick Bosa saved the day, but even he has been, like, struggling, which I think is, like, a greater symptom of what's just been happening with the defense in general. So, no, I mean, Chase Young isn't going to solve all the issues. He certainly, he certainly should help, right, and give maybe – uh, Steve Wilkes a little more like flexibility uh, with what to do with the defense help solidify that pass rush even more um, so you know they can get back to you know pinning their ears back and just getting after the quarterback and that should help in the back end but you know he, he's not going to be a magic pill I don't think that the 49ers think that either like I I would hope even if this trade hadn't happened that Steve Wilkes would have gone into this by thinking okay, let's get back to the drawing board, see how we can fix this. I imagine even Kyle was very involved um, and, you know, maybe some of the assistant coaches as well were very involved in trying to figure out like what was going on and how they can, you know, fix the defensive issues going forward. Uh, and so, yeah, I mean, having Chase Young helps, but he's not going to solve everything. Absolutely. I, I agree. I think what could be most helpful about him is if he does free up some maybe double teams for for Nick Bosa because Definitely. I do think if you if you look at the the amount of sacks that the rest of the guys have outside of Nick Bosa it's pretty comparable to last year just Nick Bosa like went off last year so if there's any of uh, you know availability to either make defenses choose okay we're going to leave Chase Young on an island or we're going to free up Nick Bosa hopefully either one of those is a win for the 49ers and I think that if this defensive line starts getting actually home instead of just getting pressure. So that will really help with the secondary, which has been getting a ton of criti criticism, which is fair. Although I will say, I feel like this isn't brought up when, when people are talking about Ward. He was like nursing a heel injury all off season. So I do wonder if that's still affecting him because he does seem to be playing more poorly than he did last year. And I don't think that that's completely random, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for, for, State, for Chase Young, not Steve Young. I would also be really excited if, if yeah, Steve I mean, Young was not too bad drawn either. out there as a, as a <laughs> defensive lineman. Just, I feel like it's like illegal to hit him at this point, so maybe that would be like a cheat code for the 49ers. But no, I, I'm pretty excited. I don't know if you read Mike Silver's article. He listed uh, last week that there were the reason that the 49ers were able to get Chase Young for such a reasonable price was there were like character concerns about him in Washington, maybe missing assignments and failing to like listen to coaches and practice super hard. I personally don't think that's going to be an issue on a team like this with a coach like coach Chris Kosarek. How do you feel about that? Did you hear that article, hear that rumor? Um, are you, I don't are you read Mike Silver articles because I'm blocked, but um, I'm glad that <laughs> I'm glad that you uh, you know summarized what that was yeah. for us. Um, no, uh, you know, kind of the same thing as Randy Gregory, right? Like there were those concerns of like character things or things like he's dealt with in the past, and I'll I'll just say the same thing as I said when that trade happened is that you know I think the 49ers have such a strong and deep uh like culture it, on this team that runs through every single player on it that i don't think one single guy is going to mess up like the chemistry or like the culture that they've built i think it'll be good for chase young to be in a better environment there's certainly more structure in San Francisco than there is in Washington. One can argue yeah. way better coaching. One can argue, but, you know, probably in favor of the 49ers for sure. So, you know, I'm not too worried about it. I think this is one of the better, like, cultures in the NFL where, you know, any player sees the, the type of other players who are on this team and they set the example, right? And everyone else who joins the team wants to fall in line with that because it's like, exactly. hey, like, this guy who's so good at his job, like look at how much he's excelling on this team and look at what he's doing in practice. Like they set the standards. So um, 
I I feel like it, it's going to be the same for Chase Young. I think this is going to be a great boost for him, like as far as like his morale goes, being back with Nick Bosa as well, and and yeah. just as a whole being with this uh, coaching staff. Yeah, and he mentioned both those things in his, in his press conference right off the bat, just like his kinship with Bosa, and then also how he already can tell that it, it's a better environment. They, I also watched an interview with Randy Gregory, who said that he bonded with uh, Young when he first came in earlier today, and that they talked about kind of leaving organizations that were a little bit more chaotic and coming to some a stable or more stable organization and feeling that drive that you want to kind of perform because an organization like that believed in you and wanted to bring you in, and you kind of want to prove them right. So I think that we have at the very least, some very motivated players that, you know, hopefully that